today, the wonderful 101 faces evaluation and shines with presentation. But not all is a brilliant star as gameplay suffers difficulties. A marvel now unleashed. It is the review on the Gamer Access. Hey everyone, this is Ethan Atal from The Gamer Access, and welcome to the video review of The Wonderful 101, a game that originally was supposed to be released during the Wii U launch window, was actually put out quite a few months later, and now is being reviewed two years later. Super Mega Awesome Go Playtime completed this game recently, and having finished it personally, I can emotionally say this game is awesome. Looking closer, well, maybe things are not as peachy, but this is still one must-have on the Wii U. The game follows our fellow protagonists who are heroes kind of like Power Rangers and their abilities are centered around their specialty. For example, Leader Wonder Red punches things and Wonder Blue has a sword. The core group is Red, Blue, Green, Pink, White, Yellow, and Black. There are many others like Wonder Beer and Wonder Clown and Wonder Toilet. The total special hero count is 100, so what do the wonderful 100 face off against? They faced off against the invading supreme alien armada known as the Guild of Evil Aliens, terrorizing humans with gigawatt bombs, energy beams, ray guns, and killer lasers, also known as the Geth Jerk Federation. The Jerks have been pummeling the Blue Marble in space for decades and once again have slipped through in an attempt to deactivate the planetary super shield and blast poor Earth to many pieces. Seriously, it is really difficult to find a game out there that has even near the amount of high energy superhero excitement and hype as the wonderful 101. It brings incredible nostalgia of the Saturday morning cartoon. It has shamelessly cheesy protagonists, glorified pompous baddies, a shining assortment of weaponry, and the plot of stopping the elitist jerks from destroying Earth. And it is an incredible plot that is written correctly. It has the plot twists, the suspense, and the voice actors to make it all fall into place. The gameplay centers around drawing basic shapes to create weapons, called Unite Morphs, which can be used on the great assortment of baddies and officers from the Geth Jerk Armada. These line up with the main protagonists, so you have punching, sword slashing, whipping, shooting, and several others. Powering these Unite Morphs is a mini army made of other wonderful ones you can find and temporarily empowered citizens. The action is very fast paced and there is plenty of satisfying beefy ways of taking down all the enemies the armada attempts to throw at the wonderful 100. Unfortunately there are some design issues. Figuring out some of the enemies may take a while and given the very fast nature of the game, a 5 minute fight with 3 ways of enemies can feel like an eternity. In addition, the gameplay sections where the Wii U gamepad screen is required is hopeless, and there are occasional frustrations with drawing and the camera. Aside from that, this game is great fun using the variety of Unite morphs whacking down on enemies hopefully with some efficiency. Even more, there are various unique gameplay segments during the boss fights and some sections of the campaign where the levels resemble Star Fox and even boxing. The best of the gameplay is when there is interaction with the cutscene and story, because you can take part of the incredible adventure of the wonderful 100. The visual style of the game is really commendable because it fits the theme. Check out the color, the character style, the flamboyant design of the jerks, the ships, the wonderful 100, it all fits together. The Saturday morning cartoon, reborn. The quality of the music is superb as it created its own iconic theme and has a piece for every situation at every moment. The superhero cartoon vibe is pretty much perfect with this game. On the technical end, the game runs pretty well, but sometimes it needs an injection of Unite frame rate that never arrives. 
There are some pretty long loading times that put the excitement on delay, but other than that, the game runs well. Wonderful 101 has to be one of the most brilliant and fantastically charming games to come out in the past few years when it comes to presentation. It has an amazingly high energy superhero theme that has been executed to perfection. The hype is incredible. Yes, the game suffers from some gameplay design and controls and camera frustrations, but it has the rapid pacing and majorly satisfying punch. The Wonderful 101 is brimming with enthusiasm and delivers the hype. The score for The Wonderful 101 will be an 8.5 out of 10.